Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be surrounded by palace staff, but the planning for their wedding won't be left to anyone but them. A spokesperson for the young royal said he and his American bride are leading the planning process for all aspects of the May 19th nuptials. The wedding is set to take place at St George's Chapel, which is located on the grounds of Windsor Castle. So far, Markle, 36, has made a positive impression on palace courtiers, who say she is smart and well-liked. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be surrounded by palace staff, but the planning for their wedding won't be left to anyone but them, according to a report on Wednesday. A spokesperson for the young royal told People on Wednesday that he and his American bride are leading the planning process for all aspects of the May 19th nuptials. The wedding is set to take place at St George's Chapel, which is located on the grounds of Windsor Castle. So far, Markle, 36, has made a positive impression on palace courtiers, according to People. She is smart and well-liked. People quotes one palace staffer as saying, Get in the holiday spirit like Kate in a tartan coat. The Duchess of Cambridge was showing Meghan Markle the sartorial ropes as they joined the royal family as Sandringham for Christmas. Kate is a pro at dressing for the occasion and she was on point for the festivities in a stunning velvet-trimmed double-breasted tartan wool blend peacoat by Moo Moo. The wool coat has traditional tartan tones of red and green with a plush velvet-trimmed notch collar and gold double-breasted buttons. Sadly the coat is now sold out, no surprise, but you can click over to NETA Porter on the right to shop the current collection. Or, get your ultimate tartan winter warmer from our edit below. We love the cupcakes and cashmere coat or get a real bargain with this Maxwell Studio coat at Walmart which is just $14.98. Prices may not be as advertised. Now get one like IT Harry told the BBC's Radio 4 on Wednesday that his fiancée enjoyed a fantastic Christmas with her future in-laws. The prince said the royals are the family she never had. The family, in turn, is smitten with Markle, according to Harry, 33. They loved having the actress over, the prince said. Harry was guest editing the Today program and his interview with Barack Obama, the first since he left the Oval Office, was played live on air. He grilled the former president, who urged world leaders to use social media appropriately and warned it is distorting the public's understanding of complex issues. Whether Obama is invited to the wedding has been a subject of intense speculation in recent days.
Harry is under intense pressure from His Majesty's government not to invite his good friends Barack and Michelle Obama for fear that it will anger President Donald Trump, according to The Sun. Trump, who loathes Obama, is deeply unpopular in Britain. UK government officials are said to be worried that an invite to the 44th president would be perceived as a snub to the current White House occupant. The fear at 10 Downing Street is that an angry Trump would make it much harder for Prime Minister Theresa May to advance British interests with the US president. Harry, meanwhile, is reportedly adamant that he wants the Obamas there for their wedding. Harry has made it clear he wants the Obamas at the wedding, so it's causing a lot of nervousness, The Sun reported. Conversations are ongoing about and ministers will eventually have to decide, the source said. If the PM lays down the law, Harry will just have to suck it up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.